All right, good morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome back on this lovely Thursday, January 16th. How's everybody doing? Good to see you, Bones. Good to see you, Phil, Cliff, everyone, Chuck, Cheryl, everybody, all you cyber great cyber traders. Welcome back. Uh, a lot of good stuff that's moving this morning. Get a couple of nice little runners that are moving. And uh, we're going to go through them and play around with them a little bit. First of all, I want to cover and uh, talk about what happened yesterday. First of all, you got this really nice little cheapy runner right here that some of you guys already capitalized. I don't really like what happened in the pre-market uh, pre already, the CETX. But we got some really cool stuff going on uh, with that with some of these stocks. By the way, the QD, I don't know if you guys just saw it. There was a 800,000 share seller out there. And guess what? I think he just pulled his order. Just he just pulled his order and hold it on. Anyway, that stock looks like a great short that's been happening with that one. Anyway, um, yeah, it looks like it's rebounding. Uh, Benito, but did you see the eight hundred thousand share seller out there that was sitting at three sixty? He wasn't on. He wasn't on uh, Nasdaq. He was on EDGX. Was on another ECN out there. Pretty cool, right? By the way, did you guys get a chance to watch me on uh, on Nasdaq's uh, Nasdaq's TV station yesterday? Everybody had a chance to, uh, we sent out a big promote, uh, a big email, it was streaming live, Rich, did you say it? Okay, great, great. Anyway, it was fun being there. Actually, they just invited me, uh, but I think we're going to be ringing the closing bell on the, on the NASDAQ. So um, NASDAQ is starting to realize that they really are trying to push this level three, their total view. They realize how important it is. Their whole business model is, is basically surrounded by that. And... Uh, you know, now they want to be able to do a lot more and promote people about it. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Anyway, I'll tell you guys a little bit later about it. Uh, I want to get right into the actual trading part of it because I know you guys are really ready to start rock and rolling because there's some really nice stocks. But before we do that, let's talk about what happened uh, yesterday because there were a couple of good stocks that did make some big moves. I want to cover them really quick. Uh, I want to start off with the SDC. Uh, it keep going from yesterday's morning. Oops, let me fix the chart right here. So that one, you could see it, it had a nice little short. It went from, you know, 24.10. It dropped all the way down to 23.80 and then went right back up. But you starting to trend down, making lower lows. Uh, so that one, I would probably keep an eye on it still today as in looking at the short. Remember, you want to be a, a good uh, – oops, I spelled it wrong. You want to be a good day trade? You better be a good swing trader. Anyway, here's the other one right there. But I'm going to keep that SDS on the chart because I'm still seeing it making lower lows. Let's pop over here in SDC. This one right here was probably the best stock of the day yesterday. This stock just literally ran from, uh, what was that, 11 and within an hour, ran all the way to about 14. Stock is still strong. Listen, she's up about 3% so far. She's got some really nice uh, level uh, iceberg orders out there. So we're going to keep the SDC back on the watch list. That one is pretty good. I kind of like that one too. She never really backed off. She was also a pretty good, nice uh, runner in the afternoon. Just be careful because the stock, if you look at it, remember, phase one, one of the biggest things we teach you in our classes is not how to make money. We teach you how to stop losing it. And the number one biggest thing you got to learn how to stop losing is not the commission charges. Now you get a lot of them for free. Is the spread, the spread. The stock had a very, very volatile spread, and that was the only bad thing about that you had to be, keep, be careful of. Another stock that's going to go back on our radar, including for today, again, is the OGI. That one had a really nice move, had a couple of little nasty shakes here, but that stock, you can see it started this morning, had a really nice pop, went for about 250, all the way about 320. She's, look, she's at 330 right now. She looks like she's filling in the gap right here. She could probably go test all the way up in the the uh, 375s, which is the next resistance. But this stock, look at here on the right-hand side, 13,000 share buyer, 5,000 share buyer. Not a lot of sellers, so it still looks like we still got a demand on the OGI. So that one, um, you know, it's not up a lot. It's only up 7%, but it was up a lot yesterday. I'm still throwing that back on our watch list. Another stock yesterday, uh, the QD is one we just mentioned earlier. So that big iceberg order that basically canceled his order. He did not get filled. Um, I'm looking at the level four version of the platform on my trading system. And like I said, he didn't get filled. Looks like the guy just canceled the order, which is, I'm not still trusting that. I still don't trust that stock. All right. But uh, 
a couple of good things that rained yesterday too. I want to go over it and nug it and Jay and, and, and Jay nug. Uh, but other than that, let's go get right into what's happening this morning. Now we all know what happened yesterday. We finally busted through the twenty nine thousand. So for all, remember I keep telling you this for all those haters out there. Okay, short the market. I, I got people all day they come up to me and they keep saying, "Yo, you think the market's going to go down?" Two reasons why they, you know, they they, they, they hate. I'm not gonna. And the main reason why they just got so jealous they didn't get into it, and they're hoping that, that they see so many other people making money doing it. I just tell them, listen, if you really think it's going down, you missed the rally, just short it, just short it. And they're like, and the, and I keep saying this. They keep saying to me, how do you short? They're like, you know how you short? Take my class, I'll teach you how to short. Obviously, you don't know anything about the stock market, and you don't know how to short. They're like, isn't that risky? I'm like, uh, listen, you want to know what's risky? Getting in the car, drinking and driving, that's risky. You think trading's risky? <laughs> There's a lot more things riskier than that. So anyway, let's go through the watch list and see what we got going on uh, in our in our watch list. So we got this one stock, like I told you, the the C the, the C E T X right here. The only thing is, like I don't know, in pre market, it's just not really trending. You know, it's not really doing that well. So yeah, I want to see how she opens up. We still got the the the, the SIG, the SIG. This stock right out of the gate this morning. If you got in when you were supposed to at eight o'clock this morning, you're doing fabulous. You probably should be in about twenty six. Right now it's at twenty eight. Stock is breaking all time highs right here. You can see it right there. Beautiful stock. Uh, that stock right there. Really, really like the SGI. I mean, like I tell you, it's breaking fifty two weeks highs right here, and it's still strong. The only bad thing about this stock is that it's it's got a very very ugly spread. Okay, it's kind of it's kind of like stopped right around at nine o'clock, which we all know what happens at nine. But uh, she's kind of panning out right here and kind of like holding steady. Is it on the stock that's making a big move? XPO, but the only issue is this: we're not trading a ninety-eight dollar stock. Okay, that's it. That ends it. We got another one right here that also not too expensive. Stock was, you know, was a little expensive at one point, but listen, big support here back in July, major resistance at, you know, back in the end of uh, September. It came back here to support levels again. She's trending up. MGI also is going to make the watch list. Hundred thousand shares. Got some good orders out there. On the loser side. Like I told you, the QD, we're going to keep an eye on it. Trade already 2.2 million shares, but I don't trust that big order out there. He didn't think I didn't see him. We all saw him out there. So we're going to keep an eye on that one. Another one that was big yesterday, but, you know, and I think it has a lot to do with the China deal, but she's starting to back off. You could also keep an eye on NIO. This thing was a pretty fun stock yesterday. A lot of you guys did well on it, but she kind of backed off. So uh, that really about does it. I mean, didn't really see too much out there. You got this BK. Which is um, 300,000 shares. Stock is on a downtrend. You could probably get a short, but remember, it is $46 BK. And that's not Burger King, just to let everybody know. <laughs> All right. So, uh, and that's about it. I don't think I have any more. ACB, that one's pretty good. I remember we trade that a few times. It's got good volume. I remember it has a good, nice little spread. ACB is not terrible. Looks like it's making new highs. Very cheap stock. You know what? It's a level one stock. ACB. All right. Josh is saying Apex, A-P-E-X, is also one to watch. Yes, that's a great call, Josh. We, if you guys remember this, we traded the stock not too long ago right here. Remember, this stock has an unbelievable, great, fun short squeeze. So don't be getting cocky. Remember, we traded the stock went from a dollar, went all the way to 220, which tested resistance back in September and came right back down to 70 cents. So APEX, we know. Listen, don't let the inexpensive stock fool you. The stock does play some nasty shakes, but remember, it was a fun stock. And if you did what we taught you in class, if you look at your journals, go check them out and see how you did in it. But that was a great call right there, Josh. Nice trade. All right, so pretty much uh, we've got our list right here. Let's go out there and try to have some fun. And uh, guys, remember today uh, we got a couple of events going on. We are going to be hosting an on-site uh, free event here, here in the Long Island area. So if you haven't registered, 
uh, feel free to kind of like come out there and uh, you've probably got a registration. So we're doing a big event tonight at 630 here on Long Island. So if you live in the area, look, for, look forward to seeing you guys. Going to do a little, uh, do a nice little class for everyone. Something we do once in a while here, you know, uh, not just webinars, but we do a lot of on-site stuff. And then also uh, remember today at 12 o'clock, we have open house. So if uh, I know, first of all, I'd like to thank Michael. Michael uh, went on Facebook and went out there and sent a really nice uh, posting of how much money he made in MBOT. And, you know, it always sounds better when you guys say it and not me. You know what I mean? That's because, you know what, it kind of really shows you that it's not about, this is not the me show. I tell you about that. It's that you guys train together. Our job is, I'm just a messenger. I'm just here to teach you guys how to not lose money so we can make money together. But but going out there and, and putting those posts out there, we really, really appreciate it. Because, you know, unfortunately, I hate to say this, a lot of people are very negative. A lot of people got ripped off from a lot of schools out there. And I get it. There's really not, you know, it, it, listen, education is a big business. You know, I, listen, college is a big business, all right? Uh, doesn't mean you can hold them responsible when you can't pay your loans back, you know, but that's that's their problem. You know what I mean? You know, you should have known that before you got into that situation. And us, listen, I can only defend myself. And the only guys that can help you go out there and tell everybody how important education is, is make sure you guys give them the advice, tell them how good you're doing, and going out there and putting those tweets, those Facebook posts, and going on our YouTube channel and liking us, you know, that, that also is going to help. Because I, like I told you, I really, really get into some really big arguments with other schools in the industry. I'm like, you know, and I can only say so much, but, you know, it's not bad business to do that. It's not good business uh, to bash other people. I don't really like doing that, but you guys should go out there. And I know you, you've gone out there, you sample the products, so go out and uh, you tried before. So go out there and just uh, just tell everyone how important it is and just uh, feel free to kind of recommend us. Thanks, guys. And uh, Fausto, when you'll be on Well365 Summit, I'm going to be on Monday. I think I'm on Monday or Tuesday. I mean, it's for three days, but we'll send an email uh, on that. You should have gotten an email, Andrea. So uh, that's a really, really big event. Listen, I know you guys can't be there for three days, but listen, it's a, there's a lot of great speakers. So just that's one other place that you can help support us go out there and be in, in that trading room that's that's and, and register most importantly we sent an email make sure you register for us because they do um, that does help us a lot that you guys also contribute and register for those events thanks everybody good luck today sorry for wasting too much time talking about it but I think it's something very important I had to cover in the meantime we got a lot of good stocks that are moving this morning let's see if we see something we'll say something once again not everything is moving but if something is We'll go out there and share it with you, all right? Good luck, everyone. Happy trading, and uh, see you all in the trading room.